Good morning. Hi. Happy Tuesday. It is a winter wonderland today. Got more snow last night. Hello, welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. I'm a PhD student at Indiana University in Bloomington. I am working on my dissertation in English, rhetoric and composition, and I make a lot of vlogs, a lot of week of my life, day of my life, make some TikTok videos, and my dissertation is about vlogs as well. So you should hit the subscribe button and follow along if you're interested in that. So the theme of this vlog is going to be yet again romanticizing my life because I had a lot of fun when I filmed that last romanticizing my life video a couple months back and I've been feeling like I could use sort of like mental reset, a change of pace, and a lot more gratitude for where I'm at. So that's what we're going to be doing. So right now I am actually in the middle of leading my dissertation writing group. We just spent the first hour talking about some readings. So this is a position that I have through the writing center. I'm a dissertation writing group facilitator. This stuff I've this is a foundations group specifically. So this is for people who are brand new to the dissertation. We walk through some tips and tricks and strategies. It's like a really loose curriculum built by the writing center. I don't like have to do any like lesson planning or anything. And I just have the Zoom meetings where I just hold space, hold each other accountable for working on our dissertations together. So I wanted to take some time to introduce this vlog and I'm going to go back to working on some things. Yesterday I made a lot of progress on my chapter edits and I'm really hoping to finish up these chapter edits today and if not today then definitely by the end of this week. I have got to do that. So I made myself a little list of all the stuff that I had to do so let's just hop into it. Side by side we sway there in all the colors Taking a little break to eat this super yummy banana bread that Megan made and to do check out and see how everyone in the disc group did on meeting their goals. Okay, it is 12.18. I have finished the dissertation writing group for the morning and I didn't really work on my dissertation. So this is like the blessing and the curse of being in grad school, like post coursework. You just like set your own schedule and you work on whatever you want to work on for the most part. So I'm going to apply to be a teaching fellow, which basically means I'll continue doing what I'm doing where I work my dissertation, but I don't have to like pay tuition and I get like a small stipend to be able to live here uh, because I teach. I just have to apply to be a teaching fellow because I am post contract. So this is the sixth year of my program and my original contract when I got accepted to come to IU was for six years. So since I didn't finish my dissertation in six years, because no one does, um, saying that to make myself feel better, I have to apply to be a teaching fellow so I can continue to teach here. So that requires a couple different things. I need a letter of application, a teaching philosophy, a statement, a teaching CV. Um, a couple course materials, syllabi, sample assignments, a graded paper, and then course evaluations. So this is due February 1st and that means I have like a couple weeks to do it, but I was getting like antsy about this. I just was like, I need to go through and actually see what's required and see what I have. So I can just like have that on my radar for the next couple weeks. I'm going to have to like work on this stuff because I applied for a teaching award last semester if you watch my vlogs it was a very time consuming um i'm still waiting to hear back from that i got the department nomination but the university hasn't decided like an overall winner yet um i have a lot of these materials already so i went through and i like put them all in a folder i went back through and selected this like representative syllabi sample assignments the graded papers and stuff like that that i want to include and i feel really good that that's just like filed away. All I need to do is write the letter of application. I also sent an email and heard back about like a question that I had about like how many and like what like constitutes a complete set of evaluations. But I have two weeks just to write that letter of application but that won't take more than a day. But it's just like really nice knowing like that's tucked away. Good to go on that. So now that procrastination is done and it's time to get into the disc. So I have a list here 
of things that I told myself I had to work on yesterday. So I submitted my first chapter of my dissertation to my advisor in December and he gave me video feedback and it was super thoughtful and really, really helpful and he's a wonderful advisor. So I've been working through those edits. They've taken a little bit longer than I want them to, but I want this new draft that I sent him to be good to go and I want to be able to move on to the next chapter. So what I still have left to do is reorganize six or so paragraphs and I wrote down in parentheses, literally just move them around because I know where they go. I just have to literally copy and paste them and move them. And I know like how I'm going to reorganize them. And then I need to make minor changes to the writing of each of these paragraphs. I wrote minor exclamation point and I circled it because I could really get lost in the weeds there as like someone who studies writing and I could literally agonize over one sentence for an entire day. So I'm not going to let myself do that. And I want to consider adding like a brief little snippet. I wrote epithet. I don't even know if I know what an epithet is, honestly. <laughs> At the beginning of each section that I'm using to reorganize these to explain the organization. And then I need to do two new sections of writing. I think this should only be a paragraph each. And I think I have notes for what I need to write. But it could entail having to go back to the original source and do some like rereading, close reading. So that might add some time. And then I need to just write a concluding paragraph for the entire chapter and say why this entire chapter has been significant. No small feat at all. But I think that these are all really doable. So I really hope I can make significant progress today. It, like I mentioned, is like only 1220. This is all that I have to do for the rest of the day, besides lesson planning for tomorrow. And what I wrote that I need to do later this week before I officially submit it to my advisor is I'm working on creating a glossary of terms just because key terms are like really important for the work that I'm doing and I need to make sure that that's finalized and that the way I'm deploying the terms and the chapter itself is like lining up with the definitions of the glossary and then one of his biggest points of feedback for me was in my literature review sections a lot of it is like not fully situated like I don't clearly state what the difference between their idea and my idea is and like I need more explicit like meta commentary of like what this article helps me do is understand this concept in this way so i feel like i've added a lot of things in like that that's like not really in like my writing style but i understand how it helps like with clarity and like it's kind of necessary in a dissertation literature review so i need to make sure that that is like good to go so that's where i'm at um so yeah let's just put on these noise cancelling headphones that I got for Christmas that I'm like obsessed with. They make me feel like I'm in a fishbowl in the best way. Put on some lo-fi girl and the only way to do it is to do it. Folded on the lawn chair in all the colors Summer love mm -hmm. Remember when we Okay, it's 1.55, gonna take a little break. I didn't get quite as far as I wanted to, but that's how revising goes. I told myself not to get bogged down in the weeds, but stuff really needed to be fixed. I like also hate the part that I'm working on right now, so it's like really hard mentally to go back to it. But I made a little note for myself where I took a break, and then I'm going to force myself to get through this today eating some leftover chili from dinner last night and some cornbread that Megan made. This is like the best vegetarian chili recipe. It's just like three different kinds of beans. You don't add any like weird like thickening agents. You just put some in the blender and then like pour it back in. And it's really simple and really easy, but super yummy. I'm gonna watch a vlog on YouTube. I love to break up the day just with like an afternoon shower. So we're going to light a candle 
and take a nice warm shower. Talk to me. Shower is done. I did my hair with my shark flex towel. One of my favorite things is to sit in this super sunny corner, get all this natural light, and do my hair. Lately, I haven't even been putting in AirPods. I've just been like sitting, enjoying the silence. Uh, never silence my brain, but you know, just intentional quiet time. But I'm gonna do a Target pickup and then I'm gonna come back. I'm going to finish the rest of the work that I want to get done today so I can have some time to chill out a little bit before I get cooking dinner and then winding down for the rest of the day. Okay, gonna finish up these edits in 30 minutes. Only gonna give myself 30 minutes to do this because my tummy is hurting a little bit and I really just wanna lay down and read my book and chill out. My stomach has been hurting. I mean, this is a chronic problem, but especially since yesterday when I saw the new Mean Girls movie, it, movie in theaters, there's been like a lot of discourse about this movie but something that i haven't heard people talking about is that i feel like it made me motion sick they experimented to say the least with camera angles and i was just like felt like i was on a roller coaster i contemplated taking a drama mean last night but let's do it let's finish this all up Here's dinner. It's a rice bowl with roasted sweet potatoes and chickpeas that you make like this really yummy spicy sauce for. It's like sriracha, soy sauce, some ground ginger, garlic, and then broccoli, edamame, and then this peanut sauce on top, which is super yummy. And then just some chopped cilantro, lime juice, and peanuts. It's a little spicy for me, but it's still really yummy. Happy Wednesday. Let's go teach. I can't lie, I woke up and I was really nauseous, so I forced myself to eat a piece of toast, a boiled egg. I have no idea what's going on. It's probably just, you know, the usual suspects. Anxiety, I have an overly acidic stomach, I have some big things coming up. It just, it is what it is. But I think the outfit is super cute today. It's this little wrap cardigan and then all black. And I'm gonna throw on a pink beanie and this pink scarf because the temperature feels like negative nine. Just kidding, I'm back home. Uh, I got an email as I was on my way to campus that a pipe burst in the building I teach in and so all the water is shut off and there's a restroom so we had to cancel class but I'm moving it to Zoom because my class only meets Monday, Wednesday. I'm running upstairs to put on soft pants. <laughs> and Monday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and I really don't wanna miss a full week of class. And I have like the lesson plan already planned, students already did the readings. So we'll see how many of them actually show up because it was literally 15 minutes notice. Okay, finished class, while class was going, I got an email saying that things have been resolved. So I'm gonna go back to campus for my second class to be able to teach it in person. Um, just because the lesson plan that I had planned, like I'm glad that I was able to like pretty seamlessly ship things to Zoom with literally 10 minutes notice, but things will just like work a lot smoother in person. So we're, we're gonna drive to campus and we are going to have it in person. Especially because selfishly, I have to be on campus for the writing center anyway. So I'm like, may as well just go. <sighs> always, always a wild day. Uh, living in Bloomington going to IU uh, with a campus that's like 200 years old. In a way though, I am kind of grateful for this because Wednesdays are going to be really long days for me. I'm gonna be on campus from like 9.30 to 6 p.m. because I teach my two sections back to back, have a small gap, which I'll be able to like eat lunch during, and then I work the writing center for four hours. And since this is the second week of class, this is the first week that the writing center is open. So this was gonna be like my first sort of run at a long Wednesday, but It'll just be nice that like now I'll only be on campus from basically like 11 to 6. So again, trying to be grateful for the little things in life. Okay, I am done teaching. 
and I'm currently sitting in the parking lot between Panera and Chick-fil-A because I really just needed some soup so I've got some Chick-fil-A chicken noodle soup some fries and a Sprite because you guessed it, we're still nauseous. I figured I could do a bit of like a mukbang moment. My students brought that up in the first class because I'm really just like brought full circle sitting in this parking lot. This is the exact parking lot I was sitting in when I had um, a really big meltdown on YouTube. I survived this, I feel like I can't continue to feel. I don't wanna do this anymore. I don't want to be in grad school anymore. I don't want to do this PhD. I don't. I don't want it that bad. That's all I know how to say. Uh, I think I've now privated the video because it, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, when I had like a mental breakdown about my comprehensive exams because I found out like two days ahead of time that my comprehensive exams were canceled because of one of my advisors had like an emergency and like everything was fine. I passed my exams, no issues, we're fine. But it was like so stressful that like I had done all of this work and I was just so ready to get it over with and I had all these emotions built up. And then it was just like, nope, you're gonna have to keep those emotions bottled up inside for an undetermined amount of time. And that was a lot. It's really full circle because here I am. I passed the exams. I passed a prospectus. I'm freaking writing my dissertation. And um, when I took those exams, I knew that I wanted to do work with embodiment, but I did not know I was going to work on digital literacy. And I knew that I cared about writing studies, and I knew I cared about improving writing instruction. But I was still like confused and had a really like general idea of what it is that I wanted to do. So. I'm just really proud of how far I've come, but I'm here now and I'm doing a project that it's really freaking cool and that I'm really excited about. And I get to study all of my favorite things, writing studies and embodiment, but also like feminism and vlogs and how all those things come together. And that's really cool. And I need this reminder for myself because as I was working on my chapter edits yesterday, I was reaching a point where I was like, I think I just like hate this. I think I hate what I wrote. I think that it's not smart. And I know that's just because I've been working on that chapter forever. And that chapter is basically like, doesn't have anything to do with blogs or like feminism yet. It's just talking about the field of multimodal composition and like this field of embodied rhetoric and bringing them together. I just want to be done with that so I can like get into the exciting stuff. I've said that a million times, but I need to remember and like be grateful that the exciting stuff is coming. Truly the best is yet to come. It's just like a lot because I'm like, oh my God, I've spent so much time just writing this first chapter. I can't continue to work at this rate. Otherwise I'm going to be in grad school forever. But I know that the first chapter is the hardest. I need to remember I've come literally so far since I was in this exact spot. It's getting kind of hot which is wild. Um, it's gonna be good and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna write a dissertation that I'm proud of. I'm going to graduate in spring of 2025. I, fingers crossed, I'm gonna have a fellowship next year so I don't have to teach, even though I love teaching. Um, I'm gonna get a job that is a perfect fit for me and we're manifesting all these things. 6.47 p.m. Got back from the writing center, immediately had to shower and change into some PJs. And all I wanted for dinner was blueberry pancakes. So we're whipping those up. It's 8.48 and I'm gonna get in bed. It's been like an earlier and earlier bedtime every night.
Hello, it is much later now. It's already Friday, 4.45 p.m. So I have some explaining to do. First of all, just now, like a minute ago, I accidentally deleted a clip from Wednesday where I was saying I'm about to go to the writing center. But basically yesterday when I came back from my writing center shift, I didn't vlog at all because I just was not feeling well whatsoever. I was feeling so nauseous. And I think part of it was just maybe like a bodily thing, but I think another part of it was anxiety. Um, yesterday I was feeling absolutely horrible about my dissertation and just about everything regarding grad school. It's just one of those days, I know this vlog is supposed to be like a gratitude vlog, romanticizing my life vlog, like trying to be grateful for like the little moments, but... I just was like, I've spent so long on this chapter, these edits are taking longer than I want it to, and I can't believe that I still have like the rest of the dissertation left. The dissertation's typically four chapters, I'm planning on mine being four chapters as well. And I just like couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I went to a teaching talk from someone who's on the job market, and I'm just like, I want to be on the job market, I want to be like graduating. Um, I just want to be done with this dissertation. And I was also just like really feeling like my dissertation chapter that I had written that I was revising was just like not smart. I think I talked about this maybe a little bit a few days ago and I'm just like why is it so hard for me to like write this? This is like so hard for me to explain and like it shouldn't be that hard I've been thinking about it forever. So I ended up making an Instagram post and like writing a really long caption. I made like a little collage on Adobe Express. And that was a really good way for me to get like my feelings sorted out. So if you want to like do a deep dive, you can check that out on Instagram. Um, and basically I just came to the realization that like, duh, it's hard because all dissertations are hard and mine feels especially hard in this moment because it is about my body and it's so personal and it's like so many things all in one. And yeah, and I was feeling somewhat better about it, but just like still kind of in a funk. And then whiplash. This morning, I woke up and I got an email telling me that I won the teaching award that I applied for in the fall. I made quite a few vlogs about it because the application process was intense and it asked for a lot of different documents. I ended up submitting an 80 page teaching portfolio because that's what it asked for. Uh, a teaching philosophy statement and an OCQs and like, like, and of course questionnaires, like so much stuff I spent hours and hours and hours working on it and I found out that I got the department nomination last fall and I was really excited about it I was like you know like even if I just get the department nomination I'll be thrilled because to win the award you compete against all of IU like all grad students at IU and not just IU Bloomington but like all campuses of IU like someone who won it last year was like in the medical school and like we have IU Bloomington, but there's also like IU South Bend, IU Kokomo, IU PUI, like a bunch of different IUs. And so when I got the email that I won, I just was like in shock. I'm still in shock. It's been several hours now and I'm just like, I can't believe I did that. I cannot believe that based on those materials, whoever the committee was thinks that like I am this year's like outstanding representation of graduate student teachers like the top graduate student teacher across like all of IU's campuses and it's wild especially like given that yesterday I was feeling so bad about things I was feeling like I was so far behind a timeline and part of that is because I spent so much time like working on my teaching materials and it's like here I am and I am I don't, I don't even have the words to like describe it. It still just like doesn't feel real. Partly because the email came from someone who like she didn't think she was breaking the news to me. She was just like, okay, so since you've won, here's like the paperwork for it. And I was like, wait, no one told me that I won. And she was like, what? How has no one told you? You won. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, so yeah, it, it truly just doesn't feel real. That's like all I can say. Uh, there is like a small award that comes with it, like financial awards, so I'm excited for that, but like more so I'm just like really proud of myself that I was like, you know, I know this award's really competitive, I know it's really ambitious, I know I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time preparing these materials, but like it paid off 
and more than anything like just all the time and energy and effort that I have poured into designing my own classes and teaching these classes and making these classes like things that students want to take and teaching them valuable skills and trying so hard to be like the best teacher I can be <sighs> and thank you to everyone who has like sent me a DM because I posted something on my story or reposted something and, and who has said like, is this the award you talked about in your YouTube videos? And I'm like, yes. And everyone who's just like posted really nice things about that dissertation post that I made where I was like, everything feels really hard. I feel like so particularly supported by you all on YouTube these past few days more than like usual. I always feel grateful for this channel and you all, but like, especially these past few days. Um, so it's been like really, really sweet. Like, I don't even know you guys. You guys don't even know me, but like people taking time out of their day to send me a DM to say like, I love your research. I love following along with you. Like, this makes me emotional. Obviously, I've been very emotional the last few days, but so sweet. And so yeah, I basically haven't done anything today because I've just been trying to like wrap my head around this like whirlwind of emotions and realize that like, now you like, basically I'm gonna advance to, like the next level of this like teaching competition so like I can fancy uh, like compete against like all the grad students from like schools in the midwest and she's like oh since this is late notice like you need to get these things turned around by Monday so it's gonna be like a busy next couple days but yeah I just no words it's wild I wish I would have had like a video of, like my live reaction to the email because I just like didn't believe it and like my hands were shaking and I immediately just like texted Megan and was like oh my god Megan like I won like and I sent her a screenshot of the email and was like I like literally won and she was like last night I had a feeling like I just was in my room taking a shower I can't remember what she said and she's like and I just was like I feel like Sarah's gonna find out and I feel like she's gonna win and it I feel so validated I feel like I've spent a lot of time questioning if like I'm going to get a job if like academia is right for me but like this award signals like the future of the prof prof professor the future of the professoriate so the future of professors and it's just like a sign like that this is like I'm on the right path this is what I should be doing and I'm not nuts for spending time and energy caring about teaching and not just caring about research like so many people at like r1 schools do okay enough emotions i this vlog has been so emotional i'm done with this rant segment now <laughs> <laughs>